That's the feeling we've all had. How new shoes would make you glad, but the best time you recall when you wore no shoes at all. Back the day. I need to take a break from the mudroom edition because uh, this guy that I know brought by deer last night and I'm going to process it now. He gets more tags and hunts with his son and they get more tags uh, than they can handle uh, the deer they like to hunt, I guess. And uh, so he always brings uh, deer by here and just drops them off for me and then I can get local, uh, local meat out of the deal. And there's some good cuts on things that I like to eat myself. But the great thing about this is that uh, I get free banjo food and she can eat something that's local. So, cause she'll eat all this fat and everything that is a little too gamey to eat. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but I like the back strap and I like the tenderloin and some other parts that are really tasty. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's just great to have local meat and it's free. Um, so I don't mind getting these dropped off, but I'll go back to doing the mud room as soon as I'm done with this. It's just a little break, but it gives you a taste of what my life here is like. There's always something something new and you're you're always shifting around what you do during a day. It's not a always a scheduled day because you never know what's gonna drop on your doorstep. I'm a firm believer in the fact that people that want to eat meat should know how to process it and should have to deal with the, you know, the graphic uh, butchering that goes on to provide the meat that they eat. And I know it kind of desensitizes you in some ways, but I think it also makes you, helps you appreciate uh, where, your, where your meat comes from and where the things that you eat come from in the same way that I appreciate uh, growing food in my garden, um, I think I have an appreciation of this and you sort of, at first it seems really gross, but you kind of get used to it. And, um, and then you have that extra skill of, of knowing how to process your own meat. Um, people around the world do it. In our culture, we have sort of this antiseptic version of meat that you go to the store and you get everything processed and packaged and you don't have to deal with this part of it, which is, seen as grotesque but um but you know this is all part of the process and i think it helps you appreciate what it takes to get meat in our culture to know where uh where that meat came from just harvested these pear puff balls i'm gonna make some cream of mushroom soup to go with my venison seems like every time of year there's something that you can harvest from the wild So this is my dinner tonight, venison and scallions from the garden and the pear puffball cream of mushroom soup made with uh, my own oregano, my own basil, uh, milk from the dairy down the road, raw organic milk, and scallions and garlic that I grew, so pretty much this entire meal is local food.
Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and tell your friends about it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I'm going to be having some, uh, some new videos coming out soon. I've been working on one about cheese making and another one on the mudroom doing the siding, so uh, watch for that in upcoming videos.